We're standing right outside Linfield House, which is in Auckland Park, Johannesburg, and the proprietor, Catherine, is with me. Catherine, you've lived here all your life, eh? Almost. I was 13 when we moved to this house. I was born just one block away from here. Now, this house you can see is very old. How old is the house? It was built in 1910, but it's furnished more as a home of about the 1890s would have been. Some of the stuff that you have here, it just it's stuff I've never seen in my life. Now, how, where did you get them? It's been collected over many years and inherited. Fortunately, a lot of the members of my family were hoarders, so nothing was thrown away. <laughs> and this is a skull drum from Tibet made of two human skulls. Made of two human skulls. Now, here's the thing. You live in this house as well, Catherine? I do, yes. Now, I, I'm going to have to ask the question. It's, it's quite a spooky place. Have you had any experiences inside this house? Well, not for many years. There have been uh, times that we've heard somebody walking in the house when there was no one there. A couple of people have said that they felt cold or that they sensed a presence and they wanted to get out of the house, but I've never experienced anything like that. The woman standing right next to you is South Africa's number one medium and uh, clairvoyant and Marietta Tinnison is absolutely the best. When it comes to if there's anything inside your house, Marietta Tinnison will know about it. So um, it's All Hallows Eve. It's the 31st of October. And you know what that means? Yes, I do know. That's the night that the ghouls and the ghosties go prowling. <laughs> I have some very good news for you, Marietta. Um, Inton Carl is here tonight. Now, Carl, you are about to be not our intern anymore. You're about to be the intern to the one and only Marietta Tienison, medium extra extraordinaire. Are you ready to learn how these things are done? Well, I'll give it my all. You want to go home, don't you? Yes, please. <laughs> Tell me what you, we're standing outside, you haven't been inside the house. Tell me what you're picking up as we're standing outside. A shape shift, like I've cleaned houses from a distance and I can see the whole house beforehand. So that's what I've done here and I picked up very much an older woman, um, a bit taller than um, you yeah. and yeah, Catherine and also very much looking at a room with it seems like um, dolls. And then I picked up a, a, a weird energy. Energy that I get is earthy, is grounding, so it's like a skeleton, it's like bones, or it's like something left over from somebody who was very solid, very wise, very earthy, but it's in the house. Yes, that is quite possible. <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking of? I'm thinking of the skull drum. So we're about to step into the house and I, I, I want you, Marietta, just to give us a sense of what you're feeling immediately. What I want to say here to um, Carl is that if one goes into a home like this, you need to replace fear with love. So because the energy of somebody who passed on is eternal, they're always alive. Are you ready, Carl? Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. This is the ice in front of bed. It's a skull drum. It's two skulls connected to the tops or by the tops. This is genuine heat. And that has always energy. What are you feeling, Hinton Cole? Well, I did tell Rian while I was standing outside that room that I, I felt like a cold presence. Do you see anyone with Hinton Cole, Karen? I, 
I would like to say to you that what I said before is very important that you're a person you need to protect yourself because you're also somebody who is very sensitive to energies clinging to you. But currently there's nothing with him? Yeah, it's behind him because he pulls that kind of energy in it because you have a very powerful energy but also a very childlike energy. The attic. Tell me what you're sensing. I just when I when we were already in 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 Catherine's bedroom, I heard a man coming down the steps or falling down the steps, who's always busy in the attic. So I said to Carlos, "Well, you don't want to go into the attic. That's not a good energy. Tell or it's a very disturbed or or not. It's not a nice energy because it's somebody who's really busy looking for his stuff." Tell me about the attic, Catherine. It must be one gardening that you're talking about. When we bought the house, we asked the previous owners if there was a ghost. They said, oh yes, his name is Um Kali and he lives in the attic. And um, for a few years after we moved in, we heard mysterious thumps and bumps yes. in the attic. Yes. We said, oh, that's just Um Kali. But then he moved. We didn't ever hear him again. My mother said he couldn't stand living with us. He's moved. He's still there. Is he still there? Okay. Yeah, well, looking for his Kali. Stuff. Yes. Um Kali. Um Kali. And if you give somebody a name, you personify him again. <laughs> you put him back there. <laughs> Same.